Hello everyone, my name is Rahul Drasil and I work as an AWS solution architect for the last few years. I switched from a product management to an AWS solution architect role. I recently completed the AWS solution architect professional exam and I got a lot of queries asking how people can move from any kind of role that they are currently in to an AWS cloud engineering role. So I thought I'll make a video to explain based on what I have observed in my projects. So first thing to ask yourself is why do you want to move to AWS or cloud computing? AWS recently announced its quarterly result. It generated $18 billion at a 40% growth rate. So you can understand the kind of opportunities that are getting generated in the AWS cloud computing space. So what are the kind of projects that you see in AWS? Basically there are two. One is the AWS cloud migration where the organizations are trying to exit their data center and move to AWS cloud. So there could be thousands of servers and applications that you're moving to AWS cloud. So this is a huge opportunity. Then you could also be developing new projects that are deployed in the cloud. Now let's understand what are the key roles in AWS cloud computing. So one, you have the AWS solution architect who does the design uh, using the AWS services for any application on AWS. Then you have the AWS cloud engineer who actually implements that design. Third, you have the AWS support engineer who does production support, monitoring, patching, fixing any issues. And then finally, you have the other roles such as sales, marketing, and account management. So this one is focused on AWS cloud engineer and the skills required to become a cloud engineer. Okay, so let's understand what are the key roles and responsibilities uh, for an AWS cloud engineer. So there are basically six. The first one is he needs to have an understanding of all the key AWS services. The reason being that if you look at any cloud migration or new design, there are four phases. One, the first one is where you do the discovery and the second one is do the design. The, the, both of these are led by the AWS solution architect and supported by the cloud engineer. Then the third phase is where you do the implementation or the cloud formation, uh, cloud formation template, automation, lambda function, and then finally you do the cutout. So when you're doing, when the cloud solution architect is doing the design, it, the AWS cloud engine needs to understand what the services being used, how they integrate. So he needs to have that understanding of all the AWS services. Okay, so now how can he acquire that uh, knowledge? Basically, he needs to have a basic hands-on knowledge of all the key AWS services. This is critical. So on the compute side, he should know about EC2, Lambda, containers, auto scaling, ELV, storage, RDS, DynamoDB, how you mount FSx, EFS on an EC2 instance. Then from the networking uh, side, you should know VPC, subnets, security group, NACL, you should know SSM, CloudTrail, CloudWatch. So these are all the services that you should not only understand, but you should also have a basic hands-on knowledge. Then if you're doing migration, you additionally can learn Cloud Endure, DataSync, Snow Family, DMS, SMS, so now the question is, how do you understand these services and do a hands-on? The first thing you need to do is sign up for a free AWS account. Let me show you how to do that. Let me exit this. Okay, let me go here. AWS free account. You can see here, if you go, you can create a free account. Just put in your details, put the credit card details, and then you should be able to have these services of free. So what are the services that are free? You can see here per month for 12 months, EC2 750 hours, S3, 5GB, then RDS, DynamoDB. So there are a lot of services, AWS Lambda, that are uh, provided by AWS for free. So next thing to do is pick up any YouTube playlist on AWS, which provides you some basic details about that service and then also shows you hands-on. So you can choose any play playlist. I also have AWS uh, YouTube playlist with uh, most of the services. So you can do is understand the service and then do a hands-on, create a VPC, subnet, security group, create an EC2 instance, S3. So do some basic hands-on work 
to that uh, playlist so whatever the uh, is being done on that uh, demo just follow along so once you have got a basic hang of most of the aws services then you can go for a aws uh, either solution architect asset or aws developer asset certification i mean there are a lot of uh, paid courses from stephen marek neil davis i personally like stephen marek uh, on uh, udemy okay so here is a track provided by aws so you first start with probably a cloud practitioner then if you are into a cloud engineer role then you follow this one so you do the developer asset then you do the sysops these are all asset level certification and then finally you do the professional level which is the devops engineer um, if you are an architect then you do the aws solution architect asset and then you do the professional but um, i would recommend you also do the aws solution architect even if you are on this track because it gives you a good overview of all the aws services okay now the next two things that a uh, cloud engineer needs to know and are critical is you should be hands on with the aws cloud formation or terraform and the second one is you should be able to write a lambda function and let's see how we can do that okay so cloud formation is pretty easy it's it's not complex at all um, what you need to do is you need to do a lot of hands on by again watching the same videos on the youtube uh, so you start with the individual services so you know how to create an ec2 instance how to create an s3 you start with these and then you create a complete stack using multiple services so if you are uh, say developing a 3 tier application you will have something some stack uh, you will have some services for uh, web tier app tier database tier so you should be able to create all of them uh, so i'll share towards the end some real world use cases and you can look to create those then you should be also able to write the lambda function this is also pretty critical if you don't have a lot of coding background that's fine you can learn python it's pretty easy you can use uh, you can learn variables print function dictionary nested dictionary if you know these things in uh, python then you can pretty much write a lambda function and they, these if you have never done that is don't worry it's not hard it's it's pretty easy it just needs a little bit of effort you can use the then uh, boto3 client library to write these lambda functions again start simple create some individual services through uh, through the lambda function ec2 s3 and then move to more complex end to end use cases so one use case could be okay so the for the writing the lambda function is when somebody uploads a json file on an s3 bucket you read the contents of that json file and then insert it into a dynamo db so that's that's a good use case uh, that that should give you good learning okay now we went through the first second and third now let's look at the other three that we have so we should we should know some scripting should have some scripting knowledge for linux and window windows um, then you should have some basic some basic devops knowledge and then finally you should be able to troubleshoot the services okay so here you should know some basic commands if you are if you are primarily focused on uh, linux if your organization uses a lot of uh, linux based os then you should be able to create files folders create new users permission some basic stuff you don't need to be get into deep uh, level um, for uh, for this but you should know some basics partial scripting you should know uh, basic partial scripting you should be able to do say an automated domain join of ec2 instances uh, to an uh, microsoft ad you should have some basic devops skills uh, how to build a code pipeline uh, basically the objective is once you have the cloud formation template you should be able to deploy it through using git code pipeline so you need to have develop some basic uh, devops skill again it's not complex just follow some there are a lot of um, videos on the youtube just follow along and i think it should be pretty easy then finally you should be able to have good troubleshooting skills you should be able to read the logs watch some videos read blogs and solve issues um this so one of the key things that you will see as you start working on aws is that there there are a lot of issues when you are trying to integrate multiple services so you should understand 
how you can troubleshoot when you face uh, certain issues okay now in summary what are the five things that can help you land a cloud engineer's job first what we discussed in last few slides do some hands-on work on the key AWS services cloud formation lambda function start creating your CV uh, look at the key uh, requirements on in the uh, for uh, on the based on the job description so let me just show you some I let me do them and show okay discard and I looked up some JD so this so this is the one I looked up I just did a cloud engineer search so this is for McKinsey so you can see here four years experience it will be certification you need some basic certification you need infrastructure as code tools such as Terraform or cloud formation experience and knowledge of key AWS service S3 cloud trail route 53 lambda so you need to have some hands-on knowledge of basic services right so then you should become scripting uh, python so you should know a little bit of python so these are some of the basic things which we already discussed then let's look at this one i think this is for jll uh, so what does it what does it need so you need to know uh, again you should be able to write some scripts implement automation lambda function you should have you should know infrastructure as code cloud cloud formation or terraform and then you should know some some basic aws services so keep keep this in mind and um, develop your uh, uh, CV. Then post some sample architectures uh, and cloud formation templates. So I, I have in towards the in the next slide I have one real world architecture that I have uh, that we used for migrating to AWS Cloud. You can use that and create a cloud formation template for that, and then just put it on GitHub account. Um, I think I already discussed the third point. Then start applying for your jobs when you have the CV ready. Uh, prepare for interviews. So mostly there are very uh, some key interview questions that you will always face or that everybody is going to ask you. What are the key challenges? So if you implemented this, these uh, real world uh, architectures, then once you develop the cloud formation template, you can you will know what are the key challenges that you're going to face and you can highlight that in your interviews. Scenario based questions. When do you use Lambda versus EC2 versus containers? When do you use RDS versus Aurora? End to end design of the system. I mean, it's more for cloud architect, but you should know as well. So, how do you design a system with 100 users, 1000 users, 10 million users? What are the kind of different services that you are going to use? What are the challenges you are going to face? Finally, uh, the fact is that you will never feel ready but get started anyways i mean there's a big skill gap and as long as you know the basics there's a great chance that you're going to be hired okay so this is uh, one uh, architecture uh, real world architecture that you can take a look at so i have a video that i've created which explains this architecture in detail okay that's pretty much it uh, please like and subscribe if you like this video thank you very much